Sonic 1029 with Tim Agarath. Rise again. Welcome back to Edmonton. Yeah, it's good to be back. <laughs> so Edmonton is a huge market for you guys. I've heard you guys say it a few times. It's some of your biggest shows here in Edmonton. So when you're in a city like this, where everybody uh, is a, where you got a really strong fan base, are there things you can do on stage that you normally can do other places? I think when like when the audience brings like, enthusiasm and passion to the table and a crowd like Edmonton always does, that sort of unlocks things inside of us from the stage. So we, sort of, we won't do anything like, you know, drastically different, it's just the way we play and the way we react. If the crowd is way into it, we're you know, we, we feed off that energy. And the energy here in Edmonton is, is unlike the energy in many places around the world. And so that in and of itself allows us to kind of deliver you know, a better show. So, Rise Against publicly is against a lot of things. What does Rise Against like? Ooh. We stand for change, we stand for awareness, we stand for humanity. You know, the, the, I guess the name is kind of deceiving, but we are, we, we are for a lot of those things. And we, kind of, and, we, and we stress we stress a lot of the positive sides of, of what we do and the positive sides of like, change and awareness. Because it's easy to get kind of down in the dumps about what's happening in the world sometimes and we're never alone. And we strive to sort of create a community of people and fans who care about the direction of the world. And that can be a really positive idea. So you guys are all either strict vegetarian or vegan. Does that get tough on the road, especially when you're in Alberta, you're in cattle country and everybody wants to give you steak and you're like, I just want a grilled day of sandwich. You know, I grew up in Chicago and I still live there, so it's the same thing in Chicago. You know, I grew up on hot dogs and McDonald's pretty much. And so it's really no no different, but you know, it's a lot easier nowadays. You'd be surprised. I've been vegetarian now for 12 years or so, maybe longer. And um, back then, there wasn't yeah, such a thing as a vegetarian. Yeah. 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 Nowadays, you can find anywhere. If we come and play a place like this, you know, we hire catering, we, we tell them what we like. It's gotten a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot easier than you think. So, does the whole crew have to go meat free too? Like, is it a no steak no, zone no, back here? No, they, they, they had plenty of meat options here tonight. We definitely. But I, I think that that's sort of symbolic of who we are as a fan. We don't, we are who we are, you know what I mean? But we don't force our beliefs on anybody. We want everyone to be themselves, you know what I mean? And if you find something like vegetarianism or animal rights or just some sort of like progressive cause, I, I, I enjoy the people find out there. You know, because if we're out there shoving things down people's throat, their first reaction is going to spit it back up. You know I mean? And I think, uh, like, especially for those of us who grew up in punk rock, we grew up in places where people were always trying to tell us what to do, and we rebelled against that. The last thing that I want to do is be another person, person in your life telling you what to do. So if you look down in the front row and somebody's now on a slim you have to pick them out? Well, I'll kick that kid out. I'm really interested to be a <laughs> dick. <laughs> no. Uh, you mentioned you're from Chicago. I put together a little game of Chicago this or that. Okay, you ready? Earth, wind, and fire or sticks? Oh, like which one would I favor? <laughs> Uh, is neither is neither a choice? Is, is, you gotta pick one. Uh, then probably sticks. Chicago the band or Chicago the musical? Oh, Chicago the band. Lollapalooza or Pitchfork Music Fest? Um, I'd say I'd say Lollapalooza actually. Windy City or Chai Town? Uh, nobody in Chicago says Chai Town, so. Not that people say the Windy City either, but people probably stay up more often than City Shot Town. So. Second City? Can we toss that one in? Uh, second City, yeah. Sure. I, mean, I think and both of those things are interesting because it's called the, the Second City, not because it was the second biggest city, but because Chicago burned down at one point, almost, almost the entire city burned down, and so it was rebuilt again, and they called it like the Second City, the Second Generation. Windy City was a term given to it, not because it was clean, but because of the politicians have a, a sense of just talking about the bullshit, you know? That's what they call it the Wendy City. I feel like I'm learning so much from I know, right? right? Stick around. How about Cubs or White Sox? White Sox. Uh, and finally, Ferris Bueller's Day Off or Adventures in the City? Oh, both good, but Ferris Bueller is a special place in that East Chicago. It's hard to Cool. Uh, the album is called Endgame. What is that against Endgame? What do you want for me? I guess I want to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Final question, you're standing in, you're stranded in a desert island, no vegetation, no water, if you have to eat one of your bandmates to stay alive, 
Oddly enough, this is not the first time I've been asked this question. <laughs> I think that I'd have to use that. 